On January 24, journalist Nesa Prabhu of Tamil news channel News 7 was assaulted by six men wielding sickles and knives. The journalist sustained severe injuries and is being treated at a private hospital in Coimbatore. For the last seven years, Nesa Prabhu was a reporter in Palladam, Tirupur. Recently, he did stories exposing the illicit sale of liquor in Tamil Nadu state corporation outlets in Tirupur and an incident where an inspector threatened a trader for bribes. According to News 7, Nesa Prabhu was trailed by unknown individuals in a car and on a motorcycle. Observing the surveillance, Nesa Prabhu contacted the police control room for assistance. The police control room relayed the information to the Kamanayak and Palayam police. Nesa Prabhu was told to personally visit the police station and submit a written complaint. Recognizing the danger to his life, Nesa Prabhu halted in a public space near a petrol station. At approximately 9 pm during a call with the police providing details of the group tailing him, five cars encircled him. Nesa Prabhu reached out to the police multiple times for assistance. In his final call, just moments before the assault, he was heard screaming and informing the police that he was surrounded by men in three cars. Nesa Prabhu was assaulted with sickles and knives, resulting in severe injuries to his hands, legs, chest and head, as reported by News 7. After the incident, local residents called the police at Kamanayak and Palayam. Initially, Nesa Prabhu was transported to a government hospital in Palladam. Due to the severity of his injuries, he was shifted to a private hospital in Coimbatore where he is currently admitted in ICU. District Superintendent of Police P. Saminadhan inspected the crime site, securing surveillance footage from the petrol station. News 7 condemned the brutal attack on its employee and called for action against the police for alleged negligence. The Chennai Press Club, the Chennai Journalists Union and journalist organizations have denounced the assault and sought a comprehensive investigation into the incident. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.